hello guys uh today i'm working on my car's oil coolers apparently those two failed and um well obviously it's one of these there's the engine oil cooler and uh i don't know if you can quite see it but down here we have the transmission oil cooler so the problem is the symptoms are the same i saw a little bit of gunk and dirt and let me focus 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 uh this chocolatey stuff you can't quite see it much but you can see it here uh so the sy symptoms are quite the same but then you can't really tell which one of these two has failed you'll have to remove each one of them and do a test so this is the um, this is the other one that i this is the, the oil cooler the one that i removed mine are already changed i just swapped out both of them and um this one is the transmission oil cooler so if you are keen on saving a little a few bucks they are not really expensive but uh, if you want to save a few bucks and um So I was saying if you want to save a few bucks and um, test and make sure which one has gone bad, you'll have to remove it. Uh, if you get a comp so it, it, the way it works, it, it, uh, it's separated here. One side uh, has the oil galleries, the other side has the transmission fluid galleries, the coolant galleries. Um, so what you'll have to do is, as you can see, oil goes in through this port. And comes out this port after it's been cooled and exchanged heat with the transmission uh, with I mean with the coolant inside this uh, heat exchanger uh, transmission I mean coolant also goes in through here and comes out here so what you have to do is you you can pour in a little bit of water here block off this side maybe with your hand I'm sure it will be enough uh, then apply um, air pressure using uh, a, a compressor use, uh, from this end block this end as well if you see bubbles here it means these two sides the oil side and the coolant side are, are in contact with each other there, there might be a hole a crack or something but those two sides should never mix so if you see any bubbles here then it means that cooler is bad so i didn't want to go through the trouble of removing testing removing testing then going by the right i just swapped out uh, both of them with the assumption that if one has gone bad then it might as well been be, be time for the other one to go bad so i just changed both of them uh and uh did away with the hassles of testing each one of these but uh that's what i'm doing today I, they've both been changed but then now i need to clean my my cooling system because that dirt will be in the hoses and the rest of the system so i've just disconnected this um uh, the return pipe and the feeding hose from the reservoir uh i'll undo these two 10 mil bolts unplug the the coolant level sensor down here and i'll pull out this thing clean it out good and um I will flush the system the way i'll do it i'll connect after cleaning the tank i'll connect it back i'll be pouring in uh, a mildly soapy water here let it run through it as i keep pulling it in i'll only connect this hose back this is the one that feeds it to the engine block as it circulates through the engine it will come back uh, fill the radiator uh, when it's full it will bring back uh, the excess into the tank using this return pipe so i wanted i won't connect this return pipe i'll be pouring in whilst uh, this is just down here spilling the excess uh, water so that it clears out the system and clears out any excess uh, gunk that was uh, left over in the system all the hoses so that will be the process uh, other than that that's all i had to share with you guys uh, I'd seen that most people panic when they see the dead here. They immediately think that it's the it, it's a blown head casket, but apparently 
if you haven't lost any power if your car still performs as normal as possible and it's not uh, blowing out any excess excessive steam or smoke from the back then it's uh, not normally not usually the the head gasket you can open the oil filler cap here if you see the same dead and gunk here on the oil filler cap then it might as well be uh, the head gasket but if you don't see any then it should be the oil coolers uh, I've heard some who live in cold climates you might see the dirt here but if it might be due to condensation like if you do not travel a uh, long distance maybe five kilometers or few, three four miles a day well when uh, and, and and you get to where you're going whilst the engine isn't like really heated up properly then condensation might be your issue that will be con causing uh, the steam to mix with oil as it condenses it uh, creates those milkshakey looking uh, dead that you see here uh, let me show you again the dead how it looks it kind of looks like that that yellowish creamish thing is it's just that I cleaned it a little bit before but it kind of looks like that I can feeling to focus it kind of looks like that um, if you see it here in your oil filler cap then it might be a head blown head gasket but they are other symptoms to check before you conclude and you know break down your engine you might not want to you do not want to do that it has to be the last option so other than just cleaning and retaining the uh, everything as it used to be like i told you that's all i have to share today so peace out guys until next time peace